Hey, hey, hey. Towards me. Just witnessed me snap my ball too. I'm gonna... Davis. Morning, everybody. Good morning. It's about 4 30. Yo, what's up? It's Big T in this. All right, man. First stop on this leg of the tour is Cape Canaveral. That's right. Cape Canaveral, man. We're about to go hit the East Coast. I'm about to see what we can catch. I don't know. We've never fished this before. So we're going to do our best to get some live bait. I've got so I'm ready to man. fish. You ready to fish? Yeah, man. <laughs> Let's go catch a fish, man. Shit. Let's go. Could have got a little wider. Yeah, it's my first cast in a while. See if I got anything. I hooked on to a big old uh, torpedo. Oh yeah, I'm counting on it. See, I couldn't work the lure. It got right here and those jacks were right there. My handy dandy net scales weren't working, so. Wait, I'm gonna come over here and get us some live bait real quick. Sum it up, sum it up, and we are going to see what we can get on those uh, on those bridge pilots with these. Let's go, baby, let's go, let's go get a bit. guys check it out look we did get some fish I actually doubled up I mean I, li I didn't even it wasn't even in the water more than a second like just wow little hungry little mangroves <laughs> ah. hey, look, look, look. Yeah. <laughs> It's a little close, but it's another fish. That's right, baby. Let's go. My favorite fish to catch. I don't think he's big enough to keep, but that is a pretty little fish. Okay, here, let me get my phone. Look at the flounder. Like, subscribe, keep watching, guys. We're gonna get another one. I'm gonna get a big one, one that I can actually feel good about eating. Okay. All right, guys, we just got us a flounder. Uh, what I did is I took a uh, jig head, hooked the shrimp, and just started popping it across the bottom. Boom, right on it. Yeah, bring it up. What is that? Look at Big Davis over here. 
catching up all the fish. What is that? I don't know what kind of fish that is, honestly. Guys, I'm gonna need help. I'm gonna need a fish ID on it. Look at that. Look at the look at the iridescence on that thing here. Well, it's facing towards me. Just witness me snap my ball too. Oh my god. Well, it's facing towards me. Just witness me snap my ball too. Oh my god. Kind of like the sand perch. Sand perch? Is it bait though? Good bait? Or no? For like... No, they, they, actually that meat is good to eat. But good to eat. That's it. I mean the, for the for fever. You know? Yeah. And the, the bad that they have a lot of bones. A lot of bone, yeah. yeah. There's they're, they're no way for play. Yeah, yeah, no. You want it? Uh, yes, I, I, I keep some already. Alright. Are you already... Oh, y'all caught these already? No, I didn't oh. caught. I just keep it. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's that, that was sort of exciting. Yeah, it was stupid. I was excited for you though, because you had something, and then, and then I was even more excited because it looked like a baby permit. And I was like, that would be cool to find a baby permit. Still cool to find. Well, it put me on a different level. You hooked up. But I ain't, I'm, I'm not oh for, oh. <laughs> I'm over one. Okay, yeah, catch you. You gotta catch two more to go. Uh, two more, uh, two more, more. That is nice. That might be ten. That ain't what I had a second ago. That is a nice. He's, he's getting bigger. They're getting bigger. That's a nice micro. Yeah, baby. Down here getting a little mango snapper action. That's right. We getting a little mango snapper action. Because we might not be getting no other action. Let's see how big he is. He's definitely not a keeper. About eight inches. It's a good size fish. Let's let him go. Come on, bird. Is it real? Yes, it's real. Very still. Snappy the rodied. I ain't done that ever, dude. I've been repairing rods. He can take, take a couple of them rods that, you know, I got that I'm repairing if you want. Ah! I don't know what happened. Right. Basically what happened, it felt like it was stuck. It felt like it was stuck and when a flounder takes it and he might have actually have been sitting there nibbling on the guy. He definitely got eight. So the hook just may not have been in his mouth properly, but what happens is, is you'll feel like it's almost like it's snagged on something. And so I could feel little bitty you'll feel like taps and what that is is they're like adjusting the bait in their mouth so they'll go 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 after they've bitten it so sometimes and they may only have the tail or something so when i went to set the hook we didn't get them that time so get them next time good morning good morning Woo. about to head out of here what's up big thing in the background man we had a great time yesterday fishing port canaveral cape canaveral area um you know it don't get better than hanging out with one of your good friends you ain't seen in what like six years six years that's man. what we decided six years yesterday and um man we coached football uh he helped me coach my kids it's, it's a good friend of mine so i was really happy and he helps share all these videos he's one of my biggest sharers so i'm really happy to be able to get down here and fish with him for a day you guys get ready now we're off to miami to uh hopefully do some freshwater fishing in the canals and we've got some offshore stuff to do so, shit, man, this is a good trip, dude. My bro, <laughs> my bro, man, shit, big T. And y'all go follow Tavis, man. He makes a lot of cool art and a lot of cool videos, and uh, and definitely helps me with a lot of stuff. So, all right, guys, we'll check in when we get to Miami and uh, show you what things looking like down there. Take it easy. Have a good one.